Last week we already had a look at Nokia's Redux NFP12, a price-conscious version of their main lineup of fans in a grey with great color scheme. It was a good fan overall and it was able to keep up surprisingly well on the overall benchmark charts. However, it went down pretty freaking quickly when it came to noise to performance. But that was the overall fan, which was also kind of built for heatsink and, and, and radiator use. What about the fan that is just supposed to sit there and spin as it may without anybody really noticing? Well, that's exactly what happens when you take a Noxia NFS12A take away all of its little enhancements, splash some grey with grey color on there and replace that 1cm long dongle with something that wouldn't be classified as a health issue. This, the Noctua NFS12B, because A was already in use. So this is Noctua's budget-friendly Redux NFS12B. And I don't want to repeat everything that I already said about the Redux lineup in the F12 video, so here is just a very short summary. They took everything away that made the fans better, like little frame enhancements, and all they left was a weird cutoff on each wing end. I'm unsure what this exactly is supposed to be, but it, it's there. Each Noctua Redux fan comes in a standard Noctua box, but instead of a ton of rubber pieces and extra stuff, this one comes only with the fan itself and a bag of screws. The fan connection was also streamlined. Instead of the usual extension, we now get a 40cm long PVM cable, period. And as a last little thing, we get an all grey with grey color scheme. If you want to know more specific things, uh, please refer to the NFP12 Redux video, which is going to be linked in the description below. Now with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the fan of the day. Noctua's S12B lineup consists of three fans in total. Though I only consider the 1200 RPM PVM controlled one to be an actual fan, the, the rest is just what happens if the government forces you to use all of those three pin headers that somebody at Noctua purchased way too many of a couple of years back. This 1200 RPM NFS12B is capable of pushing around 59 CFM at 1.31 mm of H2O. Looking at those numbers, this is clearly an airflow focused fan built specifically for case intake or exhaust purposes. But how does this translate into our general benchmark? While letting the fan spin at its max 1200 RPM, the NFS12B managed to keep the 3700X at 56 degrees C. Wow, that. That's kind of weird. At first, we were kind of shocked that the S12B were able to outperform their main lineup S12A counterparts, but actually, it makes kind of sense. Even though the S12A are pushing slightly more air, the S12Bs can do it a tiny bit harder, like in, 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 in the way of higher static pressure. And if you've watched our explanation about how we benchmark fans, you know that up to a certain point, our benchmarks will favor higher static pressure. That being said, something that did not make much sense is how they compare to Nokia's NFF12. They beat them at 100% speed. The best explanation I can come up with is that those 4 CFM difference were more significant because the 1.3mm of H2O difference could not be effectively used due to the P500A's already very airflowy front panel. Or margin of error or, or both, but no matter how you look at it, damn, that's one hell of a performance for a measly 1200 RPM fan. On the noise to performance charts, the budget airflow focused fans produced exactly what I expected. While letting them spin at full speed, the S12B managed to stay a bit ahead of their S12A counterparts, but after slightly reducing their PVM settings, the S12A non-budget oriented quickly took over and outperformed them until the very end. So where does this leave us? Well, Unlike the Noxia Redux NFP12s, the Airflow S12Bs are exactly how I expected them to be. A budget-oriented version of the S12A. So what was good, what was bad? Generally, I cannot say that the Redux lineup creates a, a cheap feeling for me. Sure, all of these little enhancements and whatnot are creating that ultra-premium feeling that we generally get with an Oxia fan. But even without all of these little things, the Redux line is still very convincing. The benchmarks are, are not suggesting a bad fan at all, just a step-down version. Except for Mike's performance, that, that's just kind of funny with Redux fans. And the overall build quality is still among the very best, considering all of that China 
crap that I already tortured my eyes with. If I had to compare them to something, I would say the Redux 9 is actually more on the, on the build quality level of an Arctic P12, while any other normal Noctua lineup fan is a bit higher. But not everything is not really bad. I honestly like the fact that the Redux line comes with a 40cm long PVM cable directly attached straight to the fan. I would even prefer if the Chromex Black line did the same. On the could have been better side, as, as usual with Noctua fans, daisy chaining is a thing and it would generally make the fan better. Plus, I mean, it's the budget lineup and I guess that budget mainboards have less fan headers than non-budget mainboards, so people would need to buy it splitters or hubs or whatever which is not very budgety so like a, a pvm daisy chain system would maybe even bring the total price down of a finished build on the price side the s12b's are going for around 3090 which is about five euros beneath and considering how very close these two are in, in terms of noise to performance and, and that the more affordable version is actually outperforming the more expensive one in max performance i genuinely would prefer to use Noctua Redux lines of NF S12B fans instead of the S12A ones. As, as weird as that seems to be. But okay, this should be all for Noctua's NF S12B in their Redux color scheme and price. At this point, a huge thank you to Noctua for sending them over, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at that NFP12 Redux video I mentioned in the beginning. There you will hear a lot more about Noctua's Redux lineup and it will be explained a bit, uh, a bit deeper. On a side note, we also have a Discord server now, so join and let's talk about your secret fan fantasies and discuss whatever makes your fan spin. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.